Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning how to create forms using Microsoft Office Access 2007. And this form will be used for the elections database. Now, based on your mark scheme, you are expected to create a form with a sub form. Now, this is how we are going to do it. Now, in the question, you are asked to create a form to display information about the candidates. So what I'm going to do with this form is I'm going to allow you to see the information about the candidates. However, I'm going to allow you to see based on constituency. And that is how the sub form is going to come into play. So we're going to be using data from two different tables to create the form. First step, click on the create tab. And then depending on which version of access you are using, you will see form wizard or if you see more forms, you select more forms and then go to form wizard. At the end of the day, we will be using the form wizard. So now we're going to first be selecting data from the candidate personal data table. So drop down the section where it says table, select candidate personal data or whatever your table was called. We're going to use the double arrow. I'm going to send over all the fields. However, there's one field I'm going to send back which we don't need and that's the constituency field. And I'm going to explain why. We're going to also be taking the constituency name from the constituency data table. And as a result, we don't need to put in the constituency um, name from the candidate data, data table. Now I'm going to put this back because I want it at the end. So I'm going to bring this down, click at the bottom, then click on constituency name and send it over so it comes at the bottom. So we're going to click next. And you notice here it says how do you want to view your data now if you select by candidate personal data it is not going to give you the option with the sub form that we want so we're going to select by constituency data table and now we see the sub the form with sub form appearing if it is already selected leave it alone click next now you can view or lay out your form based on tabular or data sheet I'm going to select tabular and then I'm going to move into next doesn't matter which one you choose you can always do it over if you don't like how it looks next then I'm going to select concourse because that's the one I like but you can choose any style that you want next and then it says what titles do you want for your form so I want to set the first one that says constituency data to just constituency and I also want to set the sub form to constituency personal sorry candidate personal data in fact I'm gonna say constituency data and then I'm going to leave the option that says open the form to view or enter information and say finish now if you if I maximize the screen you will be able to see what the form with sub form looks like so you notice it says constituency name then it says East Right? And you have all the persons who are in East. If I wanted to see all the persons in East Central, I would click Next Record and the constituency name would change to East Central and the names would also change. And if I keep going, the names would change according to constituency. Now, if you want to edit the form in terms of making it fit on the screen a little bit better, we could right click, go to Design View and we could make the change but it's easier if we do it in the layout view so I'm going to click here and I'm going to extend this a little bit so that the candidate ID number and the type the heading for it shows so just widen it enough for it to show I'm going to bring this back a little so that I have a little bit more space for this sub form I'm going to make the title a little bit narrower don't need so much space so we'll click on the field and then we use the the arrow to bring it in make sure that everything is showing underneath the field when you are doing the adjustment you don't want anybody's name to cut off you don't want anybody's address to cut off the whole aim is just try to trying to let the sub form fit as best as you can or or as much of it as is possible allow it to fit on the form gender doesn't need much space either i'm going to adjust the profession i 
and if at this point you realize that you have errors for example i have chief, chief medical officer it should be officer go back to your tables when you're finished and make the change as is necessary now the constituency number is not showing you didn't necessarily have to have constituency number in this but leave it alone because if you're entering data for the, the candidate then you would need to put in the constituency data adjust the party as well and the votes received can remain as it is and there you have your forms with your subform. You can also change the name of the form to candidate data. All you need to do is click and highlight. So click, double click, highlight. It will not show very much. Just type in what you want and press enter. Then click off of it and it will be saved as candidate data. And there you have it, your form with subform and here we, how we have it is we are showing the constituency name and all the, the candidates who fall into the constituency name. I'm just noticing that where I adjusted the title, the miss is dropping off, so I'm going to extend it a little bit, and that should be it.